Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about the hidden units. Okay, so this topic belongs to deep learning. So let us see the definition of uh, hidden units. Hidden units are the neurons present in the hidden layer of the neural network. Now they are positioned between input and output layers. Each hidden unit applies a transformation to the input data and passes the result to the next layer. Remember, hidden units are neurons presented the hidden layers. Very, very, very important terminology, guys. Please remember. So, it is present at a hidden layer. Remember, there are three layers are there. First one is called as input layer. Second one is called as hidden layer. Third one is called as output layer. Now you can see where the input, the output as well as hidden layer is located in the system. Now you can see here the first layer is called as this layer. This is called as input layer. So these are called as first input, second input, third input. These are called as hidden layers and this is called as output layer. In this diagram, I have three input layers, one, two, three. I have three hidden layers, one, two, three. As well as I have one output is there. Now, these are called as hidden units. Okay. So, you see hidden units are the neurons present in the hidden layer of the neural network. This is the diagram of neural network. Let us move into next. Now you can see in this here you can observe. So I told these are called as input layers. This is called as hidden and it is called as output layer. Now you can see here inputs are x1 and x2, x3, x4. So these are called as input values. Now you can see w1, w2, w3, w4 are called as weights. Okay. So remember always we are going to perform wixi plus bias. So there is a bias is there in the neural networks. We are going to add that value. So this is called as sigma. Now you can observe wixi. It means w1x1, w2x2, w3x3 plus bias value we are going to add. Okay. So finally we are going to get the value. If this value is greater than 0, the answer is 1. If the value is less than 0, I can say answer is 0. So this value, if this value is greater than 0, answer is 1. Hence it is called as a answer is 0. Now this is called as what we say architectural diagram of neural networks and deep learning. Weights, these are called as weights and these are called as inputs and uh, this is called as bias value we are going to add and it is called as output value. Remember we are going to have activation function the symbol of activation function is this one and this part is called as activation function f of x okay suppose if my double x y x w i x i plus bias value is less than zero then answer is zero otherwise the answer is one let us move on to next now you can observe one of the important point how to perform the computation very 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 important we are going to multiply w x plus b this is nothing but weights as well as inputs so we are going to multiply weights plus inputs and add bias value now you can see here x is called as input vector w is called as weights b is called as bias 
f is called as activation function in the activation function there are different types are there so that is called as relu and sigmoid let us see now what is the purpose of hidden units so it is used to extract the features enable non reliability linearity then abstraction okay so extract features it learn the patterns or features from the input so whatever the input we have given it learn some patterns next it allows modeling of complex relationships okay so it also allows the complex relationships next abstraction lower levels detect the simple patterns and deeper level detects the higher level features so these are called as a purpose of hidden units extract features enable non linearity and abstraction now we can see what is mean by hidden unit and what is mean by hidden layer a single neuron is called as a single neuron in a hidden layer this is called as hidden unit hidden layer means these are called as a group of hidden units okay so this is called as what we say hidden layer and hidden unit so single neuron in a hidden layer now you see these are called as our input as well as hidden as well as output now you can see in this single neuron is called as hidden layer this is called as a hidden unit it is called as hidden unit single neuron in a hidden layer yes it is a hidden layer this single is called as a hidden unit okay but hidden layer means group of hidden units so all together 1 2 3 is called as a hidden layer okay now we'll see what is the simple neural network so it is used to classify the emails as spam or not so it has input layer hidden layer and output layer now here you can see we are going to take the example by the way you are going to understand more clear you can see i have taken input vector as 0.8 0.5 0.3 now you can see there are three input values first one is the 0.8 second one is the 0.5 third one is the 0.3 now the weights are 0.2 minus 0.4 and 0.6 so in this again the weight values are we are going to have the weight values are 0.2 minus 0.4 0.6 okay and the bias value is 0.1 now you can see this is called as you know hidden layer now we are going to perform the computation here you can observe this is called as input so the formula is wx means weight into input value so here the weight value is 0.2 yes into 0.8 minus 0.4 into 0.5 so this is called as what we say the computation so finally we are going to add bias value so the formula is wx plus b this is called as a bias now finally i received 0.24 so here we are applying the concept called as relu okay so in addition to relu we are going to have different methods first one is called as relu so here we are going to take relu sigmoid tan and here we are going to have one more thing called as a hyper parameter tuning so the number of hidden and layers is a hyper parameter okay so when there is a few we are going to say underfitting 
so when it is many we are going to say over fitting so this is a important problem we are going to get the value okay so this is about the concept called as uh, what we call this is a hidden unit in deep learning okay thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel